Okay, so in this video, I want to uh, say that if the derivative exists, so f prime of c is equal to l, so the derivative exists at this point c, and l is non-zero, so the derivative is, uh, it makes sense, and it's not, it's a number that's not zero, then I want to show that x equals c cannot be a local max or min. So maxes and mins cannot happen when the derivative is non-zero. So to show this, let's, um, let's assume that the derivative exists and let's say it's negative. So let's assume that f prime of c is strictly less than zero. And so what does this mean? This means that at this point x equals c, the, the slope of the tangent line makes sense and it's some non-zero number, so some, some negative number. So I'm gonna draw this, the tangent line something like this. And what this means is that my, my function f of x might look something like, let's say something like this something like this. And now as I've drawn it, you can sort of see that this function, um, there's not a maximum or minimum here uh, at, at this point C right here. But um, to, to show why this is true, let's just think about, could it be a local maximum? Could it be a local minimum? So let's see, can, let's say, can F of, uh, can X equals C, let's say X equals C be a local max so can uh, x equals c have the highest y value near x equals c? And the answer is no, because so the slope of the function is negative, right? So the function is changing in a negative way. And so if I look at the point at x equals c, if I go to the right, then the y value is going to decrease. That's what the slope being negative means. But if I go to the left, then the value of the function is going to increase. So I'm going left, the slope is negative, and that means the value increases. And so if the value can increase, so it's going up here, then it can't be a local max, right? There's a point where the function is higher because it's increasing as I go to the left. So uh, there's a point where the function is higher than at x equals c, right next to c, like right to the left of c, the function is higher than uh, at x equals c. And so x equals c cannot be a local max. What about can it be a local min? And the, the idea is exactly the same. So since the function is decreasing, then if I go just a little bit to the right of x equals c, so maybe here, then the function will have a smaller y value. And so this blue point right here cannot be the lowest point near that area. Because if I just go to the right a little bit, the function is decreasing. And so either direction I move, if I move to the right, my function is decreasing. If I move to the left, my function is increasing. And this means that I cannot be at either a maximum or a minimum. 